Welcome to part one of the RC Review Tire Shootout. We're going to try to compare five tires on the same course using the same vehicle. Note that the lines are defined. We have six in this course of increasing difficulty. The concrete is high grip with uh, all those rocks are very slippery. And we have number six there, uh, which is just a little dirt climb. So We have five tires in this shootout. The first is the Proline KM3 with Predator Compound, soft foam, of course. The next one is the Proline Hyrax with Predator Compound as well, which is their gummiest and also soft foam. The third one is the Traxxas TRX4 Canyon Trail tires, stock on all Traxxas tires, and we modified it to put a cut in the middle. Next one is the Cross RC Black Rock tires. Just happen to have it. Very interesting to stock tire with soft rubber and double dual stage foams. And the last one is the Tra Traxxas TRX6 stock tires. Very interesting tire. We're curious to see how good it really is. Note this is just the tires that we happen to have in hand. Please let us know what tires you'd like to see in future versions of the shootout. So here's the first tire, the Proline KM3 and Predator Compound. Very scale looking tire because it is actually patterned after a real tire. So here it is. Gets the entry pretty good. We're using a Element RC Enduro Sendero. A very dialed car. As I said, transition here has slippery rocks, so we had to uh, get some momentum going. So all, in all these tests, we try to go slow in the beginning, and as the uh, if we don't get any progress, then we give it increasing levels of throttle. KM3 does pretty good on both those sides. So here it gets a little, quite a bit more difficult. The entry is steep, and then right there is, right after it gets up, there's a hole there. So it's, it's not completely level for the front tires to grab. So here, as we, as we get stuck, get a little more throttle to get past the obstacles. As it gets halfway, top is quite easy. And here, it's about the same entry, but you have to veer right. It's hard, and it gets harder as you get closer to the top. Also note that the Element RC is at about its limit in steepness. It's It doesn't have any weights. It has a Holmes Hobby 35 turn motor and a uh, hobby wing 1080 ESC. It settles down, gets through no problem. Here is the right side line, a little difficult. Throttle has to be applied to get past that ridge, and it does it okay. And here's a little dirt climb, not the best dirt test, but you know, happened to be convenient as we had to change tires quite often. So it's steep and it's loose and we just try to go slow, use some steering to give it some forward progress. Next tire in the shootout is the fabled Proline Hyrax and Predator Compound. It's the one the West Coasters use to climb the steep hills. Not very realistic, but works really well. Here it, it attacks the first climb, consistent speed, and it just really just goes through it like a hot knife through butter. Over here it goes a little slower on the left line to, to show off its capabilities 
slippery rock there on the left and it's really able to tackle it. Here we, uh, we actually go over that tough rock, rock on the left. And here is the line number three, tough one. And here is the hole, the rear tires are on it right now. And it really feels at home, it's just able to grip and get through that hole. So note that we don't have as much throttle here as we had to use in the, the KM3s. You know, it just shows that it's, it's having an easier time on the steeps. A lot of this climbing near the top is being done on three wheels, but it's able to do it okay. And here is the gap line. Well, throttle not too much, and it's able to do it. We weren't able to do the the dirt, but now we go to the Canyon Trail tire. The Canyon Trail tire is one of, is interesting. It's a good tire, but we we cut out the middle knob to make it. To give, to give it a ridge and make it a lot better tire. It's really a mod that's uh, essential for, for that tire. So here's the Canyon Trail tire modified. On the plastic rims that they include in the TRX4 Sport kit. So no, no weights or anything. It does really well. So it's a good tire, but once you have this modification, it does even better. Here it is on the left. You see that rock on the fight that rock on the left front tire. And it's able to get through it. See how the ride does it. We use a little more momentum to get past that. Here's line number three. It's caught in that hole. It doesn't have the climb of the Hyrax, but it's very similar to the KM3. One of our observations with this tire is once you modify it, it really looks and works very similar to the Proline KM3. Over there though, we tried a couple times and we didn't quite do it. Line number five, no problem. And here is on the dirt. Seems to do very well. Falling through that loose stuff. And now we are going to use the Cross RC Black Rock tires. It seemed like one of the most uh, intriguing, one of the best uh, RTR tires or kit tires. It's included in most of your SG4 vehicles dual stage homes, speed locks, and soft compound. That's, you know, pretty nice looking. Line number one. It's having trouble. So a little more power. And here, unexpectedly, it's, it, it uh, encounters some problem as well. Back it up and get a little more momentum. And now line number two. It just slips off that rock. So not quite there for, for this tire. It's just slipping, 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 and so we've had to apply quite a bit of water. Note that none of these tires are brand new. Uh, they have at least three battery packs on them. We found that is essential for testing tires. When, you, when a tire is brand new, it really is not that good. It, it needs to be broken. Some more than others, but in general, we we just have to break in all our tires that way for the comparison to each other. Right there, that's quite good. And line number three and line number four. Not quite there. It seems the tires are not able to dig in. Dual stage foams might have something to do with that. Probably good in side hilling, but pure climbing, not quite. But it's cool to have this course because we always thought, you know, this this tire would do really well. But it's really when you have something 
apples to apples comparison that you can see if it if it really does perform or it's just not as good in our observation this is not as good uh, as the other tires or or a modified canyon trail tire And finally, we are gonna go to our last tire. It's the Traxxas TRX6 tire, a brand new design for, for them. It's been on our vehicle, TRX6, and it's been amazing. So we weren't sure if it was the car or it was the tire. So we wanted to take the tire away from the car and see how it does. And look at this, slow crawl on the first hill, first line. It was amazing. So this is second second climb. We never gunned it, but it's able to traverse as well. So this tire is kind of a revelation. Interesting thing is it's on 2.2 wheels, and but the outer diameter is 4.8 inches as well, same as the, all the other tires. So it is a lower profile tire. So no probably no need for dual stage foams. It has good side support. So it is on that hole and it's able to dig itself out of that hole without much additional throttle. Finally on line number four, it's in that hole, left, left rear is on the hole. Nothing doing, we get a little momentum going. Seems we're not in a good position to give it some throttle because the front is unbroken and settled. So we just punt it. And on that line, it did really well on the crack. And finally, here it is on the dirt. It does amazing. So there you go. Conclusion to the part one of this series. Uh, our main conclusion findings are that the Proline Hyrax is really good and that the Traxxas TRX6 stock tire is really quite amazing um, and it's one of the best stock tires kit tires that we've seen so just part one right and uh, you know it's very hard to test tires but there's not a lot of data out there you know people just have boards uh, incline tests uh, and they and they keep putting it up and you usually unrealistic because they're they're wood wood boards uh, but so this is just a building block this is just one test course we can have several let us know how we can improve it what you know if it's uh if it's helped at all and what tires you want to see tested we're probably gonna try out all the oem tires but you know we want to see you know the voodoo klrs and and the pitbull rock beasts see how they perform on on this course all right thanks a ton